Paul in 1 Corinthians 14 tells us, but everything should be done in a fitting and orderly way. The Apostle Paul in his letter to the Corinthians was addressing unity in the body. We all have different gifts that work together as a whole body. No part is more important than another, as we read in 1 Corinthians 12. Paul goes on to say the unifying factor is love in 1 Corinthians 13 and warns against elevating certain gifts in 1 Corinthians 14. Rather, he desires unity among the body, demonstrating love in a fitting and orderly way. When John Robb and I set out to discover the unified team that would best demonstrate love to neighbors in need, we made a lot of mistakes. We knew we could not elevate attorneys. Leaving access to justice to only lawyers had a long history of falling short. We had to innovate justice. After years of trial and error, God revealed the team that working together in unity has significant impact in the lives of neighbors in need. One of the key members of this team is the client intake specialist who keeps the team running in a fitting and orderly way. Checking clients in, confirming information, collecting co-pays, and ensuring data is entered for effective follow-up and record keeping is crucial to tracking and telling the story of impact. John and I were slow learners. It took us a combined 67 years to land on the innovative model of your Gospel Justice Center, but it was worth the wait. Lean into one another and the power of your team as you love your neighbors through legal ministry. Subtly, do you ever slide into wanting to elevate people with certain gifts over others? Why do you think that is? How can you root your heart in the truth that all parts of the body have different functions but are of equal value in the body of Christ? Lord, thank you for the role you have called me to serve in. May I joyfully join together with others to lovingly serve my neighbor in a fitting and orderly way to your glory and yours alone. Amen.